Tulsi Gabbard's remarks are likely to strike a chord with both conservatives and socialists who fear the overreach of government and the erosion of civil liberties. Her call for unity in defending freedom may resonate with those disillusioned by the current political landscape, yearning for leadership that can restore a sense of normalcy and safeguard their rights. However, supporters of the current administration or those who view Gabbard's alignment with Donald Trump as a betrayal of progressive ideals might react negatively, dismissing her comments as alarmist or deceptive. Nevertheless, Gabbard's message is strategically designed to galvanize those feeling estranged from the status quo, stirring them towards action and change. Because I am confident that his first task will be to do the work to walk us back from the brink of war. We cannot be prosperous unless we are at peace. And we can't live free as long as we have a government that is retaliating against its political opponents and undermining our civil liberties, weaponizing our, ver our very institutions against those they deem as a threat. Kamala Harris has done this over the last three and a half years. She won't hesitate to continue that if she is elected as president. President Trump has been their first and foremost target in this because they don't want us as voters to even have the option to vote for him. I've been their most recent target, added to a secret domestic terror watch list after exposing the truth about what kind of dangers we would face if Kamala Harris is elected as president. We as Americans must stand together to reject this anti-freedom culture of political retaliation and abuse of power. We can't allow our country to be destroyed by politicians who will put their own power ahead of the interests of the American people, our freedom, and our future. I am proud to stand here before you today, whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, or an Independent, if you love our country as I do, if you cherish peace and freedom as we do, I invite you to join me in doing all that we can to save our country and elect President Donald J. Trump and send him back to the White House to do the tough work of saving our country and serving the people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Her focus on resisting an anti-freedom culture and rejecting political retaliation speaks directly to a public that values limited government and individual liberty. Many see the misuse of governmental power as a direct threat to these core principles. Gabbard's critique of Kamala Harris's actions over the past few years echoes the concerns of those who fear the current administration's potential overreach and disregard for civil liberties. Her appeal for unity across the political spectrum to protect the nation from leaders who prioritize power over the people's interests resonates deeply with the belief in national solidarity and the idea that the country's future should not be sacrificed for political gain. Gabbard's words can be interpreted as a powerful call for personal responsibility and the need to confront injustice head on. She emphasizes that individuals must take action to create meaning and protect their values in a chaotic and unjust world. By speaking out against political reprisals and the abuse of power, Gabbard demonstrates genuine courage, embodying her role as a moral agent willing to challenge powerful forces in defense of principles like freedom and peace. Her defiance in the face of perceived tyranny reflects a commitment to living authentically, aligned with her true beliefs despite significant opposition. The anxiety and frustration felt by many Americans are mirrored in Gabbard's warnings that freedom is under threat. Her message of standing together against an anti-liberal culture taps into the collective fear of losing individual freedoms and the right to self-determination. This rallying cry appeals to those who share these concerns and offers solace to those who feel marginalized or threatened by the current political climate. Moreover, Gabbard's endorsement of Donald Trump could have a profound psychological impact, particularly on undecided voters or those searching for leaders who can restore order and protect their freedoms. Her credibility as a former Democrat now backing Trump challenges traditional party lines, encouraging the public to look beyond partisan politics to defend fundamental values 